Almost every day I see someone selling off, like these two. That boat doesn't look very big, and they're off to cross the mighty Atlantic. But you don't need very much to live the dream, although a seaworthy boat does help. My friend Dave from the boat Biosfera, these are the people who take care of the wildlife around here. He's a mechanical engineer and he came by and we had a drink and we were talking about my engine. Got a couple little concerns. Like the water pump has a slight little corrosive area. So I asked him to take a look at it. And then he checked my uh, primary fuel filter, the separator. And he said, holy crap, Alex, your fuel is disgusting. It's totally black. There's something in there in your tank. You gotta flush out your tank. And I'm like, oh man. So I gotta look into that. There's a relief valve under the tank, but I don't know if I can get under the tank to open that uh, screw. And that means otherwise to pump it out. But I'm just checking the diesel now. It doesn't look very clean, but it doesn't look that dirty. I don't know, I may just have to run it, this diesel through. First thing I think I'm gonna do is change both fuel filters and, uh, and see what happens after that. See if it was just because Anyways, that's what I think I'm gonna do. Meanwhile, I cleaned up my air filter. And I'll get to the diesel later. I got plenty to do. Well, our living aboard is keeping things somewhat clean, so it's time to do some laundry. Peter said he found a great place to do it. It's not too expensive. Um, he's gonna take me over there. So. This is about a month's worth of laundry. I do it maybe once a month, my laundry. I don't have the luxury of having a washer and dryer on my boat or a water maker. Keep it simple. Others do. The benefits of solo sailing are, for example, having less responsibilities, less consumption, and less compromising. So then one doesn't really need to generate more energy and desalinate water, because supplies last longer, and not having clean clothes is not a big issue when you're alone. So I went over to Peter's boat and we drove to the little laundry business. It was run by two young women. I should have filmed. It was ready the same day and Peter had picked up my bag. Well, yesterday I dropped off my laundry with Peter. Great place, good price, and I'm going to pick it up over at his boat. But man, what a difference in uh, weather. Check it out. This is what winter is like in Mindelo, Cape Verde. It's usually windy. Sometimes it's cloudy like today, and about 20 Celsius, which for me is cold now. Peter's here We're making miss fun, you. making fun of my rash. Okay, well, put me on your channel. <laughs> okay, I have bad news for Alex, who is under the misguided belief that his rash is getting better. It's not. <laughs> he needs to do something about this, man. He's he's fading away. Look, it's gone. Almost. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Wait, let's look a little closer. That's not less rash, that's just all rash, so you can't see it anymore. I don't have it on my arms anymore. This is, this is what denial <laughs> looks like. <laughs> Fuck me. Pete and I are going on a little excursion here. Not much to do before I go get my filters. Yeah. While Lily's getting her fingers and... Pretend we know where we're going. Here, that must be the yeah. whole project. Because when you and I found this, we had been on this road about two and a half years ago. Back then, the road was under construction. The road was built to access an exclusive real estate development project. We 
We are cordially let in. Two foreigners in a car offer some privileges. We are met by a local engineer who gave us a tour of one of the houses under construction. And we were impressed. They plan to develop the beach also, even plan to add a breakwater to make the beach safe. Yeah, because this beach kind of sucks. And as well, they're building a beach bar in rental bungalows. The views are quite majestic and the design of the houses make them almost invisible in a stark backdrop. It is windy in Cape Verde, almost always, but the design is pretty well thought out. You don't feel the wind once inside the enclosures. We were wondering who could afford these places, or even how much they would cost. It would be interesting to know, but we're sailors, and not quite ready to settle on land. We moved on and followed the road to its end, and it brought us here. Pete and I have sailed by this house several times, many times. We've often wondered what it was all about it looked like some kind of a evil dude's house and uh, here we are we're here and there's a boat there's Dave and Sarnay and Biosfera and there's a sailboat with just a little rag of um, Genoa because it's windy out here today did you look down there look check this out goes all the way down to the water man This is some project, and it seems that it is well thought out also. This is where you do the DJ Khaled uh, video shoots, man. Holy yeah. cow. We have no idea who may live here, but we were told it would be the owner of the project. The place is huge, built on three floors, it seems, with rooms everywhere. view is quite something, but the constant movement and ferocity of the ocean gave us a feeling of vertigo, like being lightheaded, almost drunk. I sure hope they install well insulated windows, because the sound here is deafening. Sounds like a giant sports stadium in full cacophonic cheers and boos. be me before I'd go down there and uh, be the first brave one to do it now. No, nope. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Much enjoyed this tour of this project under construction. This is fucking cool. Stunning, amazing. Ever since I was a kid, I loved exploring construction sites and abandoned buildings and houses. I guess I'll never grow old. This is the boat chandlery in Mandelo. It's fairly well stocked and they can order most parts, but one must be patient. I was looking for my primary fuel filter. Luckily, they had it. It's a fairly common item. The shop is owned by Kai here from Marina Mandelo, and it's run by Liliana and Brun. Downstairs is the workshop for all kinds of custom boat repairs. But it's lunchtime and we know just a place to go. Excursion out in the middle of nowhere. Peter and I have uh, successfully found a seat here at this tiny restaurant. You have to come here first. It's one of the best places in the and you'll see it'll get packed in a few few minutes. It's definitely the best value for the money. It's, it's super cheap and pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean you can't earn. It. Got my laundry back with Peter, and it seems like a pretty damn good deal, man. 900 escudos, that's nine bucks, about, 
for this much laundry. And look, it's all folded and nicely put away. What? These are my old shorts I got repaired. I had one more thing to do today. Fill my tanks up with water. Sometimes I'll take the boat to the marina and fill up there with the hose. And sometimes I take the 25 liter jugs and take them to land with the dinghy. I'm only taking six. It's about 150 liters. Wendy suggested we had a little party with our friend Maritia. Well, if you got ladies coming aboard, you need water. Some water now. About 150 liters, which will last me for a while. I don't put toilet paper in my toilet. I have a douche bidet system. In other words, you spray wash your chichi or cha cha. Would it be cool to have a water maker? Yeah, sure. But then I would need more solar panels, a wind generator, and better performing batteries. I just bought a new siphoning hose and it kicks up and stuff, doesn't work well. I used to have a better one and I lost it. it disappeared or got blown away in the wind and now I got this other one and it's not the same. It's working, but not the same. Ah. Those jugs are like 25 liters. It's 25 kilos. It's heavy, man. But it's good for the shape, good for the body. Good to put me back in shape. Knees are still killing me. But we're getting there. So I went to pick up Mauricio, Cleeter, and Wendy, and went to one of our favorite burger spots. Then well fed, we were ready to take on the night. We went back to Galapan, where we played until dawn. It was just another day in Mandelo. It was great to have you aboard on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll really help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapan promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Mm -hmm.